flow class today. So let's start with our legs crossed. We're going to take the right arm up and over, anchor the right hip to the mat so it doesn't come up. Just give your body a nice little stretch. We're going to kind of warm up with some gentle stretches today. Come all the way up, left arm up and over. Again, taking that gentle stretch to the side. Anchoring the left hip down. And let's do that again. Right arm up and over. And then coming up, left arm up and over. Oh, that feels good. And coming up, let's go right arm up and over. And then we're going to rotate towards the left leg, bringing the right hand onto the ground. Just let the weight of your head draw your body closer towards the knee and the leg. But again, keeping that right hip down. So you will start to feel more of a stretch in the low back on your right. And we're just going to hold this for a few deep breaths in and out. Going into our Pilates breathing, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And let's go ahead and stretch out our psoas. So we're going to bring our right hand onto the knee. You're going to push your knee away. Straighten the spine, and it's okay if the shoulder kind of rolls forward a little bit. Just keep pushing that leg away, and then we're going to do a gentle pulse down. You want to try to keep your back as straight as you can for this stretch. And you're going to feel a deeper stretch in the low back on your right, and very deeply into the right hip. And we're going to hold this last pulse and just breathe. Feel the low back lengthening out. One more deep breath in and out. And we're going to release the right hand onto the floor. Let your body hang down heavy again over the left leg. And then we're very slowly going to restack our spine. So you feel that stretch through the right side of the spine and into the neck. That is the last thing to lift. And then we'll twist back to center. We're gonna switch which leg is in front and we're gonna take the left arm up and over. And coming up, right arm up and over. And coming up, left arm up and over. And coming up, right arm up and over. So just side to side, anchoring through the hips. Left arm up and over, and then we're going to take that rotation over the right leg, bringing the left hand onto the floor. And again, just allow the weight of your head to pull your body down over that leg. So you deepen that stretch the lower back on the left side. Anchoring the left hip to the floor. Deep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just finding some space through the body as we warm up. Let's go ahead and stretch out our psoas. You're going to place your left hand on the knee. We're going to lift the chest up. So you're just straightening your back now. Push the knee away. It's okay if the shoulder rolls forward a little bit. Just keep pushing that leg away. Keep your back as flat as you can. And just draw your chest down towards the leg. Do these little pulses. And as you go down, you're going to feel that Stretch deepen in the low back and through the hip on the left. We're going to hold this last pulse. Again, just try to keep your back as flat as you can. Keep pushing that knee down towards the floor as you lean down over the right leg. Deep breaths in and out. One more inhale, exhale. Now we're going to bring the hand down onto the floor again, allowing the weight of the head to take you down. And then very slowly, let's restack our spine so we get that really nice stretch through the left side of the spine into the neck. And once you lift your head, we can twist back to center. We're going to do a little spinal twist now. So let's take a genie arm. Shoulders back and down. So you want to feel like your shoulder blades are flat against the mat. Flat against the mat. Flat against your back. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Start to contract your core. So you feel this get really tight. Add a little lift with the pelvic floor. 
like you're bracing. And we're gonna take a rotation to the right, equal weight on the sit bones, stay really tall through your sides, and then come back to center. And again, contract the core. So once this tightens, you feel like your spine gets taller. And we're gonna take that rotation to the left. Inhale, center. Taller and to the right. Inhale, center. Taller to the left. Back to center one more time each way. And come back to center. We're going to take our legs out in front. Just give them a little shake out for a moment. And then we're going to cross the left leg over the right. Hug the knee in. Reach your left arm out. We're going to rotate it behind us, placing it right by our hip on the floor. And you're going to deepen that rotation by pulling the knee in, lifting your body up, and rotate over that left shoulder. Inhaling. Exhaling, go deeper, squeeze out your spine like a little sponge. You might even feel a little stretch in the left hip. And then we're gonna rotate back to center. Take that leg out, shake it out a little bit. And then we're gonna cross the right leg over the left. Hug the knee in, take the right arm out. Rotate over the right shoulder, place the hand near your hip. And just really lift your chest up. Hug that knee in and take that twist towards your left toward your right. Inhale, exhale, go deeper. Inhale, exhale, squeeze out your spine like a little sponge. And then rotate back to center. Let's go ahead and face our mat. Feet down to the bottom corners, nice and tall through the sit bones. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, you can. We are gonna do a little stretch forward little spinal stretch forward before we do some roll-ups. So again, just bend the knees a little bit so you can stand your sit bones if your hamstrings are a little tight. We're going to take the arms down in front. We're going to use the arms or the hands to just kind of walk along the mat as we do this one. So we want to brace the core again. And then on your exhale, you're going to scoop through your abs. So think about this kind of pulling up and in. And we're going to draw the chin down to the chest and just curl through the upper mid-back. As you do that, as I do this, I'm pulling up and in through my core. Keep flexing your feet so you feel this really nice stretch through your spine, maybe even into the legs. And on your next inhale, we're gonna re-stack all the way back up. And remember, for spine stretch forward, you wanna stay on your sit bones. So you don't wanna round through the low back. We wanna keep this in neutral. Tuck chin to chest, again, scooping up through the abs, curling just through the upper part of the back. So it would be like your ab prep, but you're staying in your neutral. So again, this is pulling up and in. Inhaling, re-step. So you get this really nice stretch. Let's do that two more times. Scoop and tuck chin to chest. Imagine kind of rolling up and over a ball with the upper mid-back. Flex your feet. Inhale, re-step. And then one more time, tucking chin to chest. Keep flexing your feet. Scoop, 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 scoop. Feel that nice stretch through your upper mid-back. Stay right on your sit bones. And then re-stack your spine all the way back up. Oh, that feels good just to kind of stretch out and lengthen our spine. So keeping the feet flexed, let's go ahead and take a stretch forward to prepare for roll-up. Shoulders down. Couple deep breaths in and out here as we hold this stretch. And then on your next exhale, let's start to lead back with the pubic bone. We're gonna roll back one bone at a time into our first roll up. Take an inhale, we're gonna lengthen the body along the mat, so this should feel good. Taking the arms overhead, keep the body pressing slightly into the mat. And then we're gonna float the arms up, tuck chin to chest, Curl up, lengthen the tailbone to the heels, and roll through your imprint. Flexing the feet, come back into that stretch position. Let's do that again. Scoop, leading back with the pubic bone, rolling back. Take a nice inhale, stretch over your mat. 
Exhale, rolling all the way back up, flexing the feet, big stretch forward. And we got three more here. So just take your time, use that four breath pattern. Keep your knees and toes looking up to the ceiling. We'll try to resist turning out today. Two more. And one more time. We're gonna end with our stretch forward. And just allow your body to be very heavy. And then we'll restack our spine all the way back up, staying right on the sit bone. So if you need to bend the knees a little bit, you can. We're gonna go ahead, everyone's gonna bend the knees. Anchor your heels to the mat. Make sure your toes and knees are looking straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna take the biceps by the ears. From here, we're gonna scoop through the abs and you're gonna connect bottom of the ribs to the hips coming into your C curve. Keep anchoring the shoulders down, and then we're gonna hinge back from the hip, only as far as you can keep your C-curve, and exhale, dive up and over the legs again. So if you imagine a ball between your thighs and your chest, you're kind of scooping up and over that ball. Inhale back, so really keep those abs tight, and then exhale, deepen your core to dive forward. There's just a really nice ab warm-up. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One more time. When you feel your sit bones, you're gonna restack your spine right on top of them, keeping your arms by your bicep, or your arms by your bicep, your biceps by your ears. And then from this position, we're gonna scoop and roll back, finding our C-curve, keeping your C-curve. So think bottom of the ribs to the hips, really scoop through the core. We're gonna circle the arms four times each way. Inhale for half your circle, exhale for the other half. You're gonna feel that deepened work through your core as your arms go overhead and out to the side. Reverse, four. Three, pull those abs and shoulders down. Two, one, dive over the legs. When you feel your sit bones, restack your spine right on top of them. Now we're gonna keep our back lengthened, so nice and straight. Arms are now in front, palms face down. Pull the shoulders back so they feel flat against your back. And we're gonna hinge back, keeping a flat back. Just gonna lean back and come right back up. Make sure your hips go with you in this one. So as I lean back, I'm tipping just to the back of my sit bones. And as I come up, I'm finding those sit bones again. Let's do five more. Four, keep your heart lifted as you go back. And then think about leading with your heart as you come up. Two more. One more. Now we're gonna lean back, we're gonna hold that, keep your heart lifted, abs in, shoulders back, and do little marches with your feet. You wanna resist any shifting in your hips. We'll go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, lift your back, and six, five, four, three, two, one, both heels down, come right back up onto the sit bones. Now we're gonna lean back, pull the right elbow back, rotate, come right back up and to the left. So as you're pulling that elbow back, you're turning your shoulders and you're looking to see where you're going. In this one, my back is flat, so we're keeping our back straight as we hinge and rotate. Inhale. Exhale, even weight on your sit bones. So as you rotate, you don't wanna shift your weight. Let's do one more to the left. And then we're gonna go bottoms of the feet together and take a little butterfly stretch to release our hip flexors. Couple deep breaths in and out here. Now 
we're going to keep our legs in this butterfly position and let's do three roll ups. So leading back with the pubic bone, try to keep your knees out. Your feet might pull in a little bit or drag along the mat as you roll back. Take a nice inhale, allow your body to lengthen over the mat. Arms come up, tuck chin to chest, exhale, roll all the way up, dive over the leg. And then we're going to roll back again. Inhaling and exhaling. Grab the backs of your legs if you need to. We got one more. And we're going to end down on the mat. Take the arms overhead and then we're just going to extend the legs out to a neutral placement. Not neutral, sorry. Parallel, hip width apart. And then we'll take the arms down to our side. It's time for our 100s. So what we're going to do with our 100s today is on our inhale, we'll extend the legs. On the exhale, pull the knees back in to tabletop. So the goal there is to maintain neutral placement. So as we start to move from the hip joint, you want to resist your pelvis and low spine moving. So let's go ahead and find neutral placement. With the pelvis, you want that little teacup balanced. We're going to bring both legs to tabletop. You can squeeze your legs together. We'll work in parallel today and together. If you need a little space, you can open the knees slightly. Tuck chin to chest. We're going to come up into our first ab prep today, letting the arms come above the body. Make sure you're still in neutral. And let's start with the legs out. We're going to pump those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Bring your knees in, but stay in neutral. And reach, two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and up. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and reach them out, three, four, five, and pull them in, three, four, five, and 40, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and 50. So really holding on to that neutral placement as you extend and bend the legs. And in, two, three, four, five, and 70, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and 80. 90, curl deeper through your upper body. 100, and rest. Roll side to side, deep breaths in and out. <clears throat> so we're gonna go into single leg stretch now. We'll maintain neutral. Bring your right hand to the outside of the right knee, and we're gonna curl up, extending the left leg, and then we're going to bring the left hand to the inside of the right leg so you can touch through your ankle. We're not pulling in today, we're just touching. And then we're going to switch as you switch your hand. So the outside hand goes to the knee, the inside hand goes to the ankle. Anchor down through the hips, especially of the leg that's going out, so you keep your hips stable. Curl deeper and let's start to double time it. Inhale for two, exhale for two. Four more sets. Three. Look at your belly button, two. Last set. And rest. Let's roll side to side, deep breathing in and out. We're going to go ahead and lift our hips up. Place your hands right underneath your hips. And we're going to find kind of a neutral placement through the pelvis. So just make sure you're not arching your back away from your hands and you're like not sinking your low spine towards the mat. We want to try to stay in more of a neutral placement. If your neck is tired, feel free to keep your head down. If you want to curl up, we'll tuck chin and chest and lift the head and shoulders off the mat. Try to maintain neutral. We're gonna reach both legs out on our inhale, in on our exhale. Again, really hard trying to stay in that neutral placement. And we're gonna do six more of these. Five, so as you bring your knees in, you're resisting sinking your low back towards the mat. Four, as your legs go out, you're resisting your back arching and your belly poofing out. 
Two more. One more. So abs, abs, abs. And rest. Let's hug the knees in. And just rock side to side for a moment. Deep breath in and out. We're going to kind of alternate our series of five today with some bridging. So let's bring our feet onto the mat, hip width apart, and we'll take the arms overhead. Take a deep breath in here, and on your exhale, imprint the low spine. Start to roll up into your bridge as you bring your arms down to your side. So we're coming right up to the top of the shoulders. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Melt the ribs down. Make sure your knees aren't going out to the side. They're looking straight ahead. And on your next exhale, soften through the heart and continue to roll down through the spine as you take the arms back overhead. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, imprint, rolling up. Bringing the arms down to your side. Inhale, hold. Let your head lengthen away from your body and soften and roll down one bone at a time. And we'll just use this as kind of a feel good today. We'll do two more. One more. Now from here, we're gonna take our hands underneath our hips again. Again, try to stay in a neutral placement. And we're going to bring both legs to tabletop. And then take the legs, reach them up to the ceiling. Tuck chin to chest, curl up. Look at your belly button, try to stay in neutral. We're going to do our lower and lift. Keep your knees and toes looking forward. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Think about your legs getting longer as you lower and longer as you lift. Five more. Four. So again, really trying hard not to move the pelvis. Three. Two. One more. And rest. Remove your hands, just roll side to side, deep breaths in and out. So we're gonna alternate again with some hip lifting and then we'll come back and do our scissors. So we'll take the arms overhead for a moment. Make sure your feet and knees are hip width apart. Deep breath in. And on our exhale, we're gonna lift our hips straight up to the ceiling. And you can go ahead and bring your arms down to your side. Allow your head to lengthen away. Melt the ribs down, squeeze the glutes. Keep your spine in that placement as you lower straight down and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze, six, five, four, three, Two, we're gonna hold the hips up. I want you to squeeze your knees together. Lift the hips higher, hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the knees and lower the hips straight down. Now we're gonna go under our Pilates V with the heels lifted. We're gonna do our hip lifts here. We'll keep our arms at our side and go ahead and lift straight up. And then we're gonna lower down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, a little different feeling in the legs, four, three, you'll probably feel your glutes a little bit more here, and one, and then we'll lower all the way down and just give those knees a nice hug in towards your body. We're gonna take the left leg up, just give it a little stretch for a moment. It's okay if your tailbone's off the mat, just try to stretch that leg toward you as best you can. And then we're gonna switch right leg. Just give it a little stretch. And then we're gonna switch left leg. You're gonna curl up, reach out through the right leg, grab any part of your left leg that's gonna help you keep the leg straight. So if you need to be here, that's okay also. Try to stay in neutral, but if your hamstrings are tight, you can work your scissors and imprint. 
We're going to switch, and then you're going to reach your legs away two times. One, two, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Elbows wide and lifted. Good, you guys keep going. So it's a stretch and a stretch. Reach and a reach. So we're lengthening those legs. Two more sets. Last set. And rest. They feel kind of nice when you do them really slow. You really get to focus on that stretch and that reach away with the legs. So we're gonna go ahead and bring, we're gonna repeat our hip lift series. So first in parallel, hip width apart. And this one will take the arms overhead to start. Deep breath in. On your exhale, lift your hips straight up and you can bring your arms down to your side. Keep your knees hip width, let your head lengthen away. And then we'll lower all the way down, press up for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold the hips up, squeeze your knees together, lift your hips higher, hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, open the knees hip width, lower all the way down. So what that does is it works our medial quad and it kind of releases the sides of the legs when you bring those knees together up in that bridge position. It just kind of feels good. You'll feel the release on the outside and you'll feel that work right in here. So we're gonna go heels together, toes apart. Lift your heels up in high half jump. Keep your arms at your side. And let's go ahead and lift straight up. Melt the ribs down, squeeze the tush. And let's lower and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, lower all the way down, and just give those knees a nice hug in towards your body. We're gonna find neutral, bring the legs to tabletop. Arms, we're gonna take them over, uh, up to the ceiling. Shoulders back and down. Now from here, we're gonna do single leg toe taps. Just one knee at a time goes away until the toe taps the mat. And you're gonna to try to keep your spine in that neutral placement. So the ribs are down to the hips. Your teacup is balanced on the pelvis. And the shoulder blades are staying flat against the mat. Inhale, exhale. One more each way. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the right leg out, pull it in. Left leg out. Pull it in. You're resisting any shifting in your hips. Pull it in. Left leg out. Pull it in. Now keep both legs here. We're going to take the right arm overhead. Bring it up. Left arm overhead. Bring it up. And again, you just want to bring that awareness into your spine. Nothing moves on the mat. So you feel the back of the ribs on the mat, the shoulder blades against the mat, and your tail on the mat. You have a little space at the low back of the mat because we're trying to stay in neutral. One more on each side here. We're going to put these together. So as we bring the right arm overhead, we're going to send the left leg out. And then we're going to pull everything back in. Remember, nothing here moves. Left arm, right leg, reach. Pull it in. So we're creating space through the body and we're using our core to stabilize the placement of our body on the mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale in. Let's do two more each side. Alternating. One more each side. We're going to hug the knees in, roll to the side, and push yourself all the way up onto your forearms. So trying to find that same placement through our body that we had lying down, but now we're up in, on our forearms or on our elbows. 
So you want to resist kind of sinking towards the mat, and you also want to resist the belly sticking out and you arching your back. So we're going to find that nice connection so you feel long but supported through the spine and the core. Elbows or shoulders, you want to resist that happening. So we're going to push our shoulders down towards the mat. You can think about pushing your elbows down. That also helps. We're going to bring both legs to tabletop. And we're going to do our single leg stretch here, resisting anything shifting in our body, just like the last exercise we did on the mat. Let's go for four, three, two, one. We're going to bring both legs in. Now we're going to do little can-can kicks. So you're going to bring your hips over to the left. So your right hip is off, but your left hip is on the mat. So all of your weight's on your left. And you're going to kick your legs out. You can go as low as you can keep, stay centered. Your legs are the same length. Pull the knees back in. Twist to center. We'll go right to the other side. So we're twisting even weight on your forearms as best you can. Reach. Pull the knees in, rotate to the other side. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull them in, and we'll rotate. Inhale, exhale, inhale, start to smooth it out. Exhale, inhale. So we start to feel the obliques working here. So let's do four more total. One more time. We're going to take the legs up and let's go into our hip twist. So it's just very similar to the last exercise, but now your legs are doing a whole circle. They're staying straight and staying the same length. So it's actually the hips that are twisting off the mat. Let's do one more each way, left and then right. Last one. Bottoms of the feet together, just pull yourself up and into a nice butterfly stretch, just to release the inner thighs, the hip flexors, and the hips. Deep breathing in and out. Restacking the spine, and we're gonna go ahead and come on to our left side. Let's go ahead and just rest our head on our arm today. We're going to bring our legs forward to the bottom front corner of the mat. So your legs are slightly in front of you. You want to make sure your body is long. You're not looking down like this and all scrunched up. So looking out into your room, keep lifting through the bottom waist. Find your little mouse house. So this part of my body is on the mat. It's just through my natural waist area. We're going to take the top leg, lift it up hip width. Use your top hand in front of you to act like a little kickstand. We're going to flex the foot. You're going to bring it forward and do two pulses. One, two, point the toe. As you reach it back, turn it out. And you're going to reach it to the back corner of your room. Anchor through that bottom leg. Flex, bring it forward, two pulses. Inhale, reach it back. Let your hip come forward, but not the shoulders. Two pulses. So we're lengthening the back of the leg. Now we're lengthening the front of the hip. Think about your leg getting longer every time you swing it forward and back. You're trying to get it longer than the bottom leg. Three more times. One more. We're going to go ahead and bring that leg down to the bottom leg in parallel. You're going to trace the bottom leg until your big toe kind of touches this little notch right in the inside of the bottom knee. We're going to take the leg, turn it out. Now keeping your mouse house, I want you to lift from under the leg. You're going to pull your knee up a little bit. Keep the hip down. Now see if you can stretch that leg up to the ceiling, flex the foot, and you're gonna squeeze the inner thighs up here together. Point, go to parallel. 
Trace the bottom leg so your knee's looking forward. Turn it out. Now we're gonna lift from underneath here. Lift, and then see if you can stretch that leg up without losing your mouse house. Flex, reach through that heel, inner thighs squeeze together. We're gonna do that two more times. Trace in parallel, turn out, lift from under the leg, stretch it up, flex, squeeze back together. One more time. Very nice job, you guys. We're gonna bend both knees, lift the feet, you can bring your top hand on your hip and 10 clamshells. Nine, eight, you're gonna to start to feel that burn in the back of the hip because of that last exercise. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna lower the feet, roll onto your back, Take the, it'll be your left leg, reach it long, arms out to the side, palms face down, and we're gonna take the right leg up to the ceiling into single leg circles. So cross your midline, hip comes off but not the shoulder, circle down, out to the side, and back up. Inhale for half that circle, exhale for the other half. So we just created all this leg through our leg and our hip, so maintain that by reaching out through that leg, just like the last couple exercises. Three more in this stretch, and then we're gonna reverse it. This should just feel pretty good in the hip. Two, one. Let's meet with our leg up. We're gonna reverse it out to the side, cross your midline, hip comes off, and then you pull that hip back out. Keep reaching that leg that's on the floor, kind of reaching it towards the bottom of your mat to anchor that hip down. Inhale and exhale. Three more. Two. One. Now we're gonna hug this knee in towards your eyeball. Reach through the leg that's on the floor so you get an opening through here and some nice flexion through the right hip. We're going to now cross the right leg over our body onto the floor. Take the right arm up to the ceiling and rotate it behind you. Just make sure your hand is beneath your shoulder. And we're just going to hold here for a moment and just let our body relax. Relax the bottom leg. Try to release any gripping in your body. And on each exhale, just allow your body to deepen into that rotation. Two more deep breaths in and out. We're gonna go ahead and roll all the way onto our left side. You're gonna push yourself all the way up and we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna lie down on the right side. Bring your legs to the bottom front corner of your mat so your legs are slightly in front of you. Remember, we want the body long, so look out into your room instead of down at your body. It'll keep you lengthened. Little mouse house between the bottom waist and the mat. Take your top leg, lift it up hip width, flex the foot. We're gonna bring it forward and do two pulses. One, two, turn it out. As you reach to the back corner of your room, let your hip come forward. Inhale, two pulses. Inhale, long stretch. We're anchoring through that bottom leg and anchoring into our mouth house. returning to lengthening the back of the leg and then the front of the hip. We're going to do three more. Two more. 
One more time. It just feels so nice. Let's bring the top leg down to the bottom leg in parallel. We're gonna trace the bottom leg and your big toe is gonna go to that little notch right at the inside of your bottom knee. You're gonna now turn out. Now keep your mouse house. You wanna lift from under the leg. So we're gonna lift, the knee will come up but not the hip. So again, lifting from under here. Now see if you can stretch that leg up, flex your foot, and now lower it, but reach through it and squeeze the inner thighs together. Go to parallel, trace the bottom leg, turn it out. Lift from under the thigh, reach, keep your mouse house, flex, squeeze those inner thighs together. We only have two more, and we're just taking this one nice and slow, kind of breaking it down and milking those lifts. Reach, let that leg get longer. Flex, squeeze together. Good, you guys, one more time. And squeeze, good, we're gonna bend both knees. Lift our feet, top hand on your hip, and 10 clamshells. Nine, squeeze eight, and seven, and six. Five. So again, we're going to start to feel that burn because that last exercise, three, two, one. Lower the feet. You're going to roll onto your back. Arms out to the side like the letter T. The left, right leg is down. Your left leg, we're going to take it up to the ceiling. Cross the midline. Your hip comes off but not your shoulder. Circle down, out to the side and back up. Think about that leg getting longer. So we just did all that lengthening. Keep that as we do our single leg circle. Keep reaching through that bottom leg to anchor the hip and the leg onto the floor two more times. One more. We're gonna meet with our leg up to the ceiling and let, let's reverse it out to the side. Down, cross your midline, hip comes off but not the shoulder and pull that hip back onto the mat. We're kind of using our obliques a little bit in order to pull the hip back. Let's do four more. Think about your leg getting longer. Three, two, and one. We're gonna hug the knee in towards our eyeball Keep reaching through the leg that's on the mat. So you're getting an opening here and flexion through your left hip. We're gonna take the left knee across our body onto the floor. It's okay if it doesn't touch the floor all the way. And we're gonna take our left arm up and rotate it back. Look at your left hand. And we're just gonna hold here and breathe. Try to relax any gripping in your body, even relax the bottom leg. And on each exhale, focus on feeling your body kind of sink a little deeper into that gentle stretch. Two more deep breaths in and out. We're gonna rotate back to center, taking the arms out to the side, bring your legs all the way together, together and just center your body on your mat. We're gonna let our knees fall to our left. And then you can start to rotate your palms up. So you should feel a nice twist and stretch in the side of the right hip. Deep breathing in and out. We're gonna take our bottom leg, cross it over the top leg. And you're just gonna let the weight of that leg kind of pull your hip into a deeper stretch. It is okay if your shoulder comes off the mat. We're gonna to start to pull the hip back 
until you feel more of a stretch in your hip. Once you find that, try to relax any gripping and allow the weight of the bottom leg to pull that hip into a nice stretch. And then we're gonna go ahead and release, coming back to center. Legs together, center your body. And we're gonna let our legs fall to the other side. You can look away. And you should feel a nice stretch in the side of the hip on the top hip. Take the bottom leg, cross it over the top leg. Let the weight of the leg pull you into a deeper stretch. Right now it's okay if the shoulder comes off the mat, the opposite shoulder. And you might even feel a little stretch in your pec also. Now what we're gonna do is try to bring the shoulder, the opposite shoulder onto the mat and also your hips back a little bit. And then you're gonna allow the bottom leg to pull the hip into a deeper stretch. So now you should feel it more in your hip and not the side of your body, like your low back side area. It should be more in the hip, the area that we are working in our clamshells. And just deep breaths in and out. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring the legs to center, release the cross. And then from here, just center your hips. We're gonna imprint our low spine, just to kind of release that big stretch. And then just go back to neutral. And let's do that again, imprint. And back to neutral. Three more times, imprint. And neutral, so real gentle, two more, imprint. Neutral, one more time. Imprint, stay. We're gonna hug those knees in. Curl up and just start to use a little momentum to start to roll like a ball. Once you get up to the top, you're gonna use that extra one inch scoop through the abs to roll you back and up. Scoop and scoop. When you come up, try to stay scooped. I'm, for some reason, I'm having a little hard time doing that today. There we go. So <laughs> try, try to stay scooped. So when you come up, you do stay to the back of the sit bone. And let's just do a couple more. Two. And one. Yeah, that one was tough for me today. <laughs> So hopefully it wasn't as tough for you guys. You can kind of feel your body wanting to kind of come onto your sit bones. Sometimes it's kind of hard to stay in that tough position when you're balancing. All right, you guys, let's stretch out some more. So we're gonna open up the front of our hip, coming into a four point kneeling position. So a little quadruped position. We're gonna take our right foot and step it forward. And just allow the front of the left hip to open. And just double check your right knee, you want it right over the foot. Not past the toes, right over the ankle. Coming up on the fingertips, lift the heart. Pull the shoulders back and down. So you get this really nice opening through the front of the left hip. Very gently start to transfer your weight into the front foot so you feel a little more activation through the back of your hamstring on the right, and then we'll bring our hands onto the knee. Keep lifting through your core. We're gonna take the left arm up at that gentle back bend. Now we're gonna bring our hands down to the inside of the right leg. You're gonna peel the right arm up as we rotate, inhale, and come back down on your exhale. Left arm peels up, rotate, inhale, and back down on your exhale. We're gonna go ahead and straighten the front leg. You can move your hands to either side of the leg and just pull your foot back a little bit. We'll keep our toes pointed and let's start to round and arch our back. And on each arch, you're gonna feel a deeper stretch through your hamstring. On this arch, we're going to hold and then flex the foot.
Bring the foot back down. When you do that, you're gonna feel that deepened stretch here. And then we're gonna allow our body to get very heavy over the leg. Deep breaths in and out. So maybe now you feel a little more of a stretch in your spine as well as your hamstring. We're gonna slide that leg back, curl the toes under, press your hips up into a pipe. And we're gonna to start to pedal through our feet. Shoulders down, ribs down. Just get that really nice stretch through your calves and through the backs of the legs. Think about your sit bones lifting up as you drive the heels down. Now we're gonna place one heel down, hold, breathe. Switch side. Switch again, and then what you can do is kind of soften the knee a little bit of the heel that's down. So you'll feel more of a stretch into your heel and Achilles tendon. And then we'll switch, and same thing here, just soften the knee a little bit. Watch so that your knee doesn't roll inward. And then we're gonna place both heels down, straighten both legs. Take the left leg high, bend your knee, cross your midline, open up that hip, even weight between your hands as best you can. Three deep breaths in and out. Now, just like we did for that exercise where we lifted from underneath the leg, you're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna lift underneath that left thigh, bringing and pulling your knee up to the ceiling. Now see if you can stretch that leg up, rotate the hip down, placing your foot back down, and we're gonna bend the knees, coming back into our quadruped position. Relax your toes. Let's do the other side. Left leg put, comes through. Open up through that right hip and just double check, make sure your knee is right over your ankle. It's not beyond your toes. It's actually in alignment with your first two toes. Come up onto the fingertips, lift the heart. Breathe. Start to kind of push your heel on your left foot into the mat so you feel activation through your left hamstring. We're going to slowly bring our hands onto the knee. So now you're a little more engaged in here. Right arm high, take that gentle back bend. And then we're going to bring our hands onto the floor to the inside of the left leg. You're going to peel your left arm up, pull both shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, bring that hand back onto the mat. And then right arm, we're going to peel that arm up. Big stretch, open up that thigh. Bring the hand back down. Now very slowly, go ahead and straighten your front leg. You can bring that left hand to the outside of the leg and just pull your foot back a little bit so your hips are more square. And we're gonna start to round and arch our back. And on each arch, you're gonna feel that deepened stretch now on the left. We're gonna hold our next arch and flex the foot. Big stretches. You can move your foot around if you want. Sometimes that feels good because it stretches out different areas in the foot and the ankle. Now we're gonna place the foot down, keep pulling your hip back so you still feel that deep and stretch through your hamstring. And we're gonna let our body get very heavy over the leg. If you start to feel any pain, just back off a little bit. A couple more deep breaths in and out. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the left leg back, coming back into your quadruped position. Curl the toes under, we're gonna press our hips up into that plate. Start to pedal through the feet, shoulders down, ribs down. Think about lifting your sit bones up to the ceiling. So you really focus on feeling that stretch through your legs, backs of the legs. One heel down, stay, breathe. 
Let's switch. Now we're gonna switch again, but this time soften the knee a little bit of the heel that's down. So you feel more of that stretch in the bottom of your foot into your heel and Achilles. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, just softening the knee a little bit. Make sure your knee doesn't turn in. Both heels down, we're gonna take our right leg high, bend the knee, cross your midline. Here we go. Ignore me. Equal weight between your hands, drive that left heel to the ground. So you feel this really nice opening through your right hip. Now just like that exercise we did, lying on our side, we're gonna lift from underneath the right Thigh. So what happens is your knee pulls up to the ceiling and then see if you can stretch that leg up just like that exercise. Roll the hip down, place your foot back onto the mat. We're going to bend both knees, come back into our quadruped position, relax your toes, and we're going to sit back in a little shell stretch. Just rounding the spine over the legs, resting the top of the forehead on the mat. You can also kind of roll your head side to side. Deep breathing in and out. And this always just feels good. It's very relaxing just to kind of roll on the forehead. We'll come back to center. Again, deep breath in and out. And on your exhale, let's restack our spine all the way back up. Let your head be the last thing to lift. And let's go ahead and come into a seated position. All right, you guys, let's do a couple neck stretches and that'll take us to the end today. So we're gonna take the left ear to shoulder, sit up tall. And then bring the left hand onto the head and just let the weight of your hand deepen that stretch through the right side of your neck. We're gonna take our right hand down towards the floor, keep sitting up tall, and then just depress the shoulder down a little bit by reaching your elbow down towards the ground or hand down towards the ground. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Release the hand, turn your head down so that your head is in alignment with the center of your left chest. Take your left hand behind the head and actually draw the head down. Still sit up tall. And again, reach that right shoulder down to the ground. So you start to feel this really deep stretch through the right side of the spine and into the neck. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna release it, come to center, and just turn the head side to side real gently. So that's kind of a deep stretch. We just wanna kind of work it out, shake it out. And we'll come to center and we'll do the other side. So right ear to right shoulder, make sure the shoulders are back. Take the right hand, just let it rest on the head. So you're not pulling it down, you're just letting the weight of your arm deepen your stretch. Still sit up tall, and then take this shoulder and kind of depress it down towards the ground a little bit more. So you feel that deepened stretch here. Deep breathing in and out. I'm gonna release the hand. Lift the head a little bit, turn to the right so that your head is in alignment with the center of your right chest. Take the hand behind the head, gently depress your head with your hand, still sit up tall, and then take that left shoulder, reach it to the ground. So you should feel a very deep stretch through the left shoulder blade into the neck and through the spine. Breathing. And then we'll gently release that, lift the head to center, and then just slowly turn side to side. It doesn't have to be full range of motion. 
We're just gently shaking out that deep stretch. And coming to center, let's place our hands on our knees. Close your eyes for a minute and settle into your body. Become aware of any changes you feel in your body after Pilates class today. Deep breaths in and out. One more deep breath in and out. And then you can open your eyes. Thank you everybody for joining me today. That was a wonderful class.